Hey guys, I'm back. It's me and Sam, the cow hat. I'm a little bit closer today. Hi. So today, I've been doing quite a lot of reading. It's the evening at the moment, so I don't know if I'll get any more reading done today, but I might. But here's what I've done so far. I completely started and finished Prince Caspian, which is really exciting because, as I said, I thought I would get through it quite quickly. Not quite this quickly, though. <laughs> in one day. I'm really impressed with myself. I haven't watched the film yet because I haven't really had time today and I probably won't have any more time because I need to film this video and edit this video and upload this video and uh... I'll tell you more about this book in my July wrap up thing. After finishing Prince Caspian, which took up most of the uh, morning and the reading sprint, um, I decided that I would start Legend. By the way, the second and third Prodigy and Champion in this trilogy, they were supposed to arrive today, and they haven't. That's good. But it's okay, because I do have the first, and I'll just be able to read this. And hopefully by the time I'm finished this, I'll have the second and third, but I'll just have to hope. I didn't get very far through this. I only read the first, like, 29 pages, so, I mean, that much. But I'm enjoying it so far, even though I've only read like a tiny wee bit of it. Now that I've given you that little update, it's time for the challenge for today, not the giveaway challenge. That's going to come later. Get excited for that. But at the moment, I'm going to show you my top three books I've read because of book Chubafon. So here we go. Firstly, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I know this is probably on everyone's videos because Everyone's read this because of booktube, because it got so much hype on booktube. I think it had good reason for that. Overall, I thought this was a really good book, which is why it is third best, but there are two better than it. Right. Right. The second best book I've read because of booktube is Every Day by David Leverthon. I really like this cover. I mean, I've seen the other covers that you get, you know, the one with him falling through the clouds. But, I mean, I really like that one. Oh, I'm shaking the camera, sorry. But I also just really like this cover, because it's bright orange, and it's got, it has a little sticker that says, Every day is a wonder, which is a quote from Patrick Ness. Which is really great, because if you didn't gather in my TBR, I really like Patrick Ness. He's my favorite author. Really great. Also on this cover, it has like, it's green. Green? <laughs> Not green. <laughs> but also on this cover, it's just bright orange, as you can see, but it has this blue in it, which you wouldn't expect to work because opposite colours and all that. But it really does work. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. Um, I gave it 5 out of 5. It was really interesting. I thought there would be, like, when I read the back, I thought there would be so many things that just wouldn't make sense, but they were explained, like, within the first chapter, and I just really liked how everything just made sense, even though it was such an odd idea. A good book, in my opinion. Best book that I've heard of from Booktube is this. Drummer, please. Ready Player One! So much suspense for that. But I really like computer games, so this book just sounded amazing when I first heard of it, and I put it on my to read shelf immediately. It was really high up there with the best books and the ones that I really wanted to read. And then the thing that made me really want to go and buy it, even more than Booktube, was actually I was talking to my computing teacher, who is my favourite teacher and someone who I just think is awesome, and we were talking about books, and he just mentioned the fact that he was reading this and really enjoying it. And he said that I should read it. And I got really excited because I had already heard of it and thought that it sounded awesome. So that was like everyone on booktube saying it was great and my favorite teacher saying it was great. So I had to go and get it. And I did eventually find it after very stressful, like searching for ages in Warstones, but I did find it eventually. And I love it. I think it's a really nice cover, really good book, and Booktube helped me find this book. Thanks, Booktube. I feel like a um, five-year-old, you know, when you were at your friend's house and then your mum would come and pick you up, and they would say, what do you say? And you would go up to your, like, your friend's mum or dad and be like, 
thanks for having me. Do you remember that? That was adorable. And on that note, to the giveaway challenge. So we have to recreate a, um, like a, a cover from a book. And I've decided that a book, that a book cover that I think would be good to recreate would be this one. Winterling by Sarah Prinnies. I think that's how you pronounce that. Probably. But it's a nice cover. I really like this cover. It's really shiny. But it's really nice, very blue. And it's got like a horse and someone riding the horse and a, they're jumping over a little frozen pond. If you can't see that. But I, I just really like it, so I decided I'm going to recreate that. Okay. It's going to look so strange. Oh goodness. Right. So, in fact, I'm gonna change the camera angle slightly so that you're kind of looking this way, right? Hopefully, that's the right angle. So, no, it's still not the right angle. Dang it! Yeah, let's go with that. Right, okay. So, there is me here. And I am going to be riding this horse, and I am going to be jumping over some lovely water, right? Free. It's all going to be very quick, so you better not blink. Free. Two. Wait, I need to make the horse do the noise. Three, two, one. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed that. That's my recreation of Winterling. <laughs> no. What am I doing? <laughs> so, I just did a thing, and I hope you enjoyed that thing. That was my entry for the giveaway, and yes. If I do get this book, I'll make sure to read it with the horse because he deserves it as much, or she, they deserve it as much as I do. I will see you tomorrow for some more crazy antics. I will be filming a video with my friend who is doing the booktubeathon but is not making videos so we decided to make some videos together to go on this channel. So I guess you'll see us then when there will surely be a lot of craziness. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>